Welcome back to the workshop, guys. We've got a fun one for you. I brought in Mr. Kyle Crawford himself because we've got an awesome promotion going on right now around centered around a very particular knife, a very custom knife that we wanted to bring Kyle on to tell you a little bit about. Kyle, what is this knife? And how did we come about having a knife giveaway that we're gonna be doing with it? Tell us a little bit about this thing, man. So excited to be here. This is a promotion that we're running in partnership with knife making legend, Ken Onion. As many of you know, we've partnered on knife sharpeners with Ken Onion. Well, we wanted to find a really fun and exciting way for all of you to have a chance to win a custom handmade Ken Onion knife. Now what we have here is a prototype knife handmade by Ken Onion in his shop in Kaneohe, Hawaii. These don't exist. No. <laughs> Even in the aftermarket, you just don't go out and buy a custom Ken Onion knife. Right, right. This is a really big deal. I know, man. And I'm going to put it down, just to be careful. <laughs> no, man. I don't even want to get my mitts on it. <laughs> um, for those at home that don't know, what's the difference between like a production knife and a custom, like the one that they're seeing here? Great question. What we have here is a prototype knife designed and handmade by Ken Onion in his shop. Not many of these get made. Ken will not make any one design that in more than three to five knives. They're essentially a prototype that he can get to one of his manufacturer partners, like Columbia River Knife and Tool, for example. They will then take that design and move it into their lineup as a Columbia River Knife. So you'll see stylistic likenesses to Ken's design, but this is not the same level of knife that we're talking about. Yeah, about. yeah, you can definitely see some of Ken's design in this knife for sure. Like I see this blade shape and I think home front. It's kind of what comes to mind for me. Like, Very much. Iconic design from Ken. Um, and for those of you that aren't that familiar with Ken, a little quick background on who Ken is and, and why he's such an icon in the knife world, man. Yeah, yeah. Ken's been a, a dear friend for a long time. Um, he's a knife making legend. He, he brought the speed safe technology uh, to Kershaw knives, revolutionized the pocket knife and EDC industry. He was able to find an innovation that allowed a knife to open quickly and safely, but getting around um, the switchblade laws. Yeah. They were really stringent. Huge step forward in the knife making industry. Uh, Ken's also the youngest member of the Knife Makers Hall of Fame. So he's been doing this since uh, the mid 90s after he uh, got out of the military had a passion for knives. Stan Fujisaka was his mentor and sensei and spent time learning how to make knives with yet another legend. Yeah. So Ken has been making these custom knives and getting them to manufacturer partners over the years. So many of us are familiar with a leak, a scallion, uh, a home front with the Kershaw and CRKT brands, but not many of us have access to a handmade, hand-built, hand-ground, hand-polished, Ken Onion full custom knife. Yeah, when it comes to, that's the first thing for me this year, we're coming to a blade show, learning the difference between production knives and then there was a few custom makers around and it was crazy how quickly those would go. So if you can get a custom knife like this, I don't want to try and like even put a price on something like this, but <laughs> it, it's it's not cheap, that's for sure. And they go quick and really, there's probably no value you can put on it. Once someone gets this in their hands, it's something that doesn't exchange hands very often, I would imagine. You're right, there is no price guide to the value of a knife like this. It really does come down to the demand of the market. They tend to double in price every time they change hands. So they may start at a reasonable price, but then when they get into the, the secondary market, um, one, they become hard to find because they're collectors. People right. hold on to them. And when they do turn up, they're worth really big money. So yeah, we, we can't really put a value on this, uh, which is okay. Yeah. But we know Ken made it in partnership with us. We got to sit down, watch him make this entire knife. We got to collaborate on what the knife name is, which was a really fun exercise. Um, it's the bow tie. Uh, and another thing you're gonna notice about you know, some of the differences when we're talking about a custom knife, fit and finish, Kyle, is is king. Yep. When you buy you know, a, a knife at a 50, 60, 100, $120 price point, it does not have the material selection. I mean, we're talking about titanium uh, frame and scales here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about CPM 154 blade steel hand-polished 
every single surface of this knife, even in the pivot where you'll never see it. Right. Why? Because Ken believes that the action is what makes the knife. It is just buttery smooth. Mm -hmm. Every single surface of this knife has been touched, tuned, and hand cared for. It's just a stunning piece that goes so far above your standard uh, you know, knife that you buy at a retail store. That's what speaks mostly to me, I think, man, is knowing that Ken himself had his hands on this and did the work on it in a way that it makes it special because literally it's his handwork. It's not Ken's design that was built by a manufacturer. This is Ken's knife. He's got sweat in this thing. He's got emotion in this thing. It's it's pretty unique. Um, and it's also, he's got his name on it there too, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really it's a one of one. There's no other knife like this in the world. Ken made this knife in this configuration for us. We've got the laser marked autograph. We've got the Kevlar and carbon fiber uh, laced G10 scales. And we have the joy of watching Ken make this knife. And you guys were there, right? Yeah. You get to go out and actually what be a, a part of it. What a treat. I yeah. mean, it's like, it's like being inside this secret vault of where the magic happens, Kyle. <laughs> and the passion that Ken brings to what he does is second to none. He is an absolute perfectionist. I got to watch him assemble and tear down this knife not less than 10 times. Jeez. One more polish, one more fit, too tight, too loose. Feel the action, feel the action, not good enough over and over and over. Yeah. I mean, the bevel face alone, this is all hand polished work here. So when we see this, this beautiful mirror bevel face, that doesn't go into a tumbler. That doesn't come out of a machine. Ken has hand ground this blade and then we'll progressively work through not less than six grits, all hand work. Jeez. We watched him uh, vice up this blade and sit there with micro abrasives on the edge of his workbench for not less than an hour just to do this one face of a knife. <laughs> so the care, the love, the attention to every aspect of this knife is just second to none. How do I get one? <laughs> this <laughs> one, <want> one. <laughs> is available and you can win it. We're contest, uh, running a contest right now where you have a chance to win this custom Ken Onion bow tie knife. If you visit worksharptools.com forward slash Ken, we have a sign up page where you can enter to win. Or visit your local retailer where we've got signage in stores where you can scan a QR code that'll get you to that same location. Entering to win is easy. We're gonna ask you a few basic questions, uh, primarily how to find you to contact you if and when you win. So you can enter to win and have a chance to have this incredible custom Ken Onion knife in your collection. Wow, man, that's a pretty simple way to get signed up to win something pretty epic. One last question I got for you, man, like how did this come to be? Like, why did we even come on? I know we've had a partnership with Ken for a long time, but maybe the audience doesn't know the history there. And one last thing to leave off on is tell them a little about who we are and who Ken is, not only to us, but to you, man. You've known this guy for how long? <laughs> yeah, Ken and I, uh, Ken and I go back about 10 years and it's it's been so joyful to work with Ken over the years. He's, he's such a, an innovative, creative, powerful guy, but he's he's full of love, man. No one gives a hug like Ken on you, let me tell you. <laughs> and it's been just a joy to, to bring that relationship into more of a, a space of brotherhood, a real, real kinship. This is something Ken and I have wanted to do together for a long time. He's healthy, he's vibrant, the timing was right. We're coming out of uh, this COVID era of life, and we just both had a lot of energy around how do we get this magic of what Ken's design, intention, in making a knife is to our workshop audience. So I brought it up with Ken. He left at the opportunity, Kyle. He absolutely said, yes, now's the time. Let's <laughs> do this thing. So he leaned right in. We flew over to his shop, spent uh, two full days working with him and his team and documented the entire story of how this knife is made. So while we're working on other knife sharpening projects with Ken, uh, this is an exciting way for us to bring a unique opportunity to you, our WorkSharp audience. I'm sure they can find out more about that story as they head over to the, the website that Kyle mentioned earlier, WorkSharpTools.com slash Ken. Mm -hmm. um, you can learn more about the knife. You can learn more about how to enter, a little bit more history about our relationship with Ken. Uh, man, I'm stoked. I, I wish I could enter to win Me this too. knife, man. Um, I, at the same time, I don't even want to touch the thing because 
my hands, I, every time I have touched it, I seem to get my, my fingerprints all over the thing, man. <laughs> and it's just a gorgeous knife, man. Um, it is. I'm stoked. Thanks for coming on and telling us about the knife. Glad and to be here. Good luck to all you guys. Get in there, enter to win uh, this beautiful custom piece. Mm -hmm.